Hello and welcome to part 3. Today we are going to upload web pages that we created. And for that we are going to open our FileZilla. Double click on your FileZilla icon on your desktop. FileZilla is opened and we are going to select here File Site Manager and this is information that you are going to need to enter here. So let's go again over what is necessary here for you to connect to your hosting company server. You need to enter your host, your username and your password and we will select connect and as you can see here on the left hand side FileZilla is connecting to our hosting company server. On the right hand side we need two steps in order to find our destination. So step one will be that you find public underscore HTML double click on public underscore HTML and find the site your domain name and double click. We are going to upload our pages to home based online business dot biz. So find your domain name, your website folder and click on your website. Double click. And now you are in your website folder. So two steps are needed you will find public underscore HTML and then your website. Now on the left hand side we are going to navigate into our project folder into my site folder that we created. So find here on desktop. Let's scroll a little bit down and let's find my site project folder. Double click and here are our files that we created. I will upload about.html, click on about, right click and upload. As you can see here down it is uploading. Because I have index.html and about and contact and privacy it is asking me if I want to overwrite. For the purpose of these tutorials I will overwrite my index.html and select OK. As you can see here down it, it is uploaded. So let's select next. Next page that we are going to upload will be contact.html and right click and select here upload. Again I will overwrite. You will not get this dialog window asking you if you want to overwrite because in the beginning you won't have this file of course on your website. So let's select next index.html right click and upload. I will select OK. Next we are going to upload our privacy page. Select privacy. Wait for file to turn blue. That means usually that you selected it. Right click and select upload. Because I don't have product page product.html a dialog window won't open this time and asking me if I want to overwrite. So just right click and select upload. Now that our pages are live on internet, let's see how our pages look when we open them in Google Chrome. Let's minimize our FileZilla. We will open Google Chrome. Launch Google Chrome. Let's type our address. There it is. Selecting enter. 
home based online business and let's see how our index page looks like as you can see our images are not here and why is that we will see just in one moment we are going to minimize Google Chrome and open again FileZilla. We need to upload our images folder to our site. Just select our images folder, right click and upload. We are waiting for our images to be uploaded to our site. Now that our images are uploaded, let's see in Google Chrome how our index page looks like now. I'm opening Google Chrome and let's reload our page and let's see the changes. As you can see, only this animated image is shown on our web page and let's see what we did wrong. I will minimize now Google Chrome and we are going to open Composer. Double click on Composer's icon, select Run and let's open our index page. Open File, select Index we are in my site project folder as you can see here and select index and open why this image is not showing on our website let's double click on this image and if you can see here location is file colon forward slash forward slash forward slash c colon forward slash users gina desktop my site images our location is not correct. We have to delete everything that is before images. You remember what I told you, you have to write correct path for your file because everything on the internet have the address. So, if we select images forward slash www.jpg, this is the location of our file on our website. And we are going to select here OK. And let's double click on this animated GIF and let's see what we did right here. As you can see, why is this image shown on our web page? Because it has correct address. This image is named double A anygif.gif. This is the correct file name and it is in our images folder on our site. If we check URL is relative to page location it will show because this is the correct address of our image. I did this on purpose for you to understand. You needed to concentrate in the last module on tables and this time we are going to concentrate and focus on our images. So this is the correct address on the internet for your image and select OK. Let's see other images. Let's double click on home and as you can see it is the address on my local computer. See users Gina desktop my site images home.jpg. So we need to clear everything here before images select and we are going to delete. As you can see now we are instructing our website to look for this image in side of images folder and then name of the file home.jpg and we are checking this box URL is relative to page location and we are selecting here OK. We are going to do the same for our other images. Select here URL is relative to page location and as you can see our image 
directory has changed and it says images forward slash about dot jpeg and we are going to click here ok if we do the same for our about image just select URL is relative to page location and as you can see directory has changed it's now saying images forward slash contact dot jpeg and we are selecting here ok we are going to do the same for privacy we will check URL is relative to page location and select OK and if we double click on our product image let's see if we check URL is relative to page location as you can see directory has changed and it is saying now images forward slash product dot jpeg this is where we instruct our site where it's gonna find our image and we are going to select here OK we are going to save and we are going to minimize composer and let's go back to file Zilla we need in order for our pages to be refreshed we need to select here refresh the file and folder lists so let's do that and now we will upload again our index.html and select upload and overwrite let's minimize now filezilla and let's see in our browser how our page will look like now let's hit reload this page and we will refresh this page and as you can see now our images are all here it is very important that you understand address of your images and that you understand tables and what could happen if you don't give the correct address for your images This is all for part 3 and I will see you in part 4.